Well, hi everyone. We're in some pretty strange times now, huh? States around our country, countries around our world are on lockdown. Everybody's supposed to be in their house and they're only supposed to go outside for essential trips like stocking up on more booze. And well, I've been looking at my Facebook feed a lot too much and a lot of people are posting about the things they're doing to cope with the cabin fever and uh, maybe even take the opportunity to learn something while they're stuck inside during the COVID-19 quarantine and self-isolation and everything. And I thought that's pretty ambitious, good on them. Uh, I'm sure there's something I could probably pick up as well, but uh, sitting around and thinking about potential hobbies of mine, I'm not terribly musically inclined. Rock me mama like a wagon wheel. And I'm an absolute mess in the kitchen. I mean, besides, she's freaking crazy. And I'm pretty sure that Lebowski Fest is going to be canceled. That's a, that's a bummer, man. But maybe it's not about learning or doing. What should I be spending my time with right now? Anyway, it's spring. I'm supposed to be teaching. And all those people out there, if they want to be learning, somebody has to be teaching. So hey, maybe I can step up and help you all learn something and develop a skill set as esoteric as it is. Hey, you're stuck inside, right? So let's learn how to use R. The idea here is that I'm going to bring you right in my classroom from wherever you are in the world. Uh, no, that's not really what I had in mind. Uh, maybe something a little more intimate? Holy cats, no, that's not what I had in mind either. Keep her moving. Yeah, no, that's more like it. These folks are here to learn. But for real, this is my class. It's a graduate level seminar in learning how to use the R statistical environment. It's not a stats class, and it's not a computer programming class. This is basically just a series of tips and tricks that I've put together myself in using R for the last over a decade. I started using it in 2007 on my master's thesis. And these are the skills that I share with graduate students in my program and at my university. We learn a lot of data management stuff. Basically, the point of this class is to be able to do as much of your data manipulation, graphing, analysis, and presentation using R. The idea is that we're going to minimize our use of spreadsheet programs such as Excel or Google Sheets. You'll end up using spreadsheet programs a lot. That's probably how you enter your data, how you store your data, certainly how you'll receive your data from others, and probably how they'll ask you to share it with them. For anyone who's dabbled in using R, you've probably done a lot of your data workup and manipulation in Excel workbooks, and then exported sheets and saved them as CSV files that you bring in one at a time in R and do your graphing or your statistical analyses. What we work on here is developing the skills that you can do as much of that data manipulation as possible in the R environment. The idea is you can get out of Excel as soon as possible. Now, I can't teach you everything that you need to know, and especially not right now. I'm probably not going to teach you enough for you to finish your thesis or finish that next report you're working on. But what you should acquire are the basic skills of getting data into R and doing some basic manipulations, and you'll learn the vocabulary of R and enough about how, how R works so you can go and Google about anything else that you'll need for your next steps. It's uncanny how as you learn more and more about how R works and how the R community works as well, you'll see the rankings of your best answer go from the bottom of your Google results page right to the top. And the next level of proficiency you'll get is our Googling wizard. And then you can move on and really develop your skills. While the videos for this class are probably gonna live on YouTube for the foreseeable future, 
all of the material, including daily script, the data that we use, even homework assignments live on my GitHub page, intro range R. So I would go there, check those out, bookmark it. If you use GitHub as well, feel free to fork it and you'll always have the most up-to-date version of the course materials. So let's get to it. And then once you are there, you can see all of the weeks organized here in different folders, including the data and other files that we use in the class. Click on a week and you can go in and see the assignments and the script that we use in that class for this week. Here's the homework example, which is simply just reproducing as closely as possible this graph using data that are available here on GitHub. We open those files then, and you can see it right here in our studio. Start with our package loading. We learn how to set working directories, pulling in data from Excel using some of the tidyverse solutions and working our way through his through these data manipulating wide versus long format nesting and summarizing in order to make our graphs i hope you learned something i hope you have some fun who knows when we're going to get out of this and you'll be able to go and show off for your skills to everybody back at the office but in the meantime, stay safe, stay distant, wash your hands, and we'll see you on the other side.